Hey guys, so as we are seeing more people are looking for alternative beddings for reptiles, I brought these two other reptile carpets um, that I want to show you guys and what are some of the pros and cons. So without further ado, let's dive in. So starting with the first one, I'm gonna go over this one on the right, which is the Jilla brand. And just to give you a quick look, uh, this is how it looks like. It kind of looks like sand and uh, substrate texture type of thing. And just to give you a closer view, this is how it looks like. And the sound. When we put it right here in the tank, and just to give you a little uh, note, um, I didn't buy the exact size to the tank. I was just buying the products just to show you guys the demonstration. So um, the first thing that I want to go over is this uh, color does fit pretty well inside the tank. And overall, the price is pretty cheap too. Now, one of the downside for this item is that these, because of the, the way they're designed, if you see it close, they have this rough texture where it could be a little bit dangerous for their reptiles claws or reptile teeth when they're hunting for the food on the ground. Now the another thing about this one is that when you put this in the tank, you will see a little bit of this. As you can see this part right here, this part is a little bit wrinkled. So what you got to do when you have these type of a carpet is that you want to put like these heavy items right here above so that these wrinkles can go away. Now, although this has been placed over right here, this part still needs something to hold on. So I will say maybe like triple dish or something like that could basically straight, straighten out the whole carpet. And also, especially when you have like a big reptiles, um, they do run sometime inside the tank. This whole entire carpet will eventually move like this. So you definitely want to put something that is heavy enough so that the carpet doesn't move. Um, sometimes I do see these get like folded or get like crumbled like this. So in order to prevent that, you want to put like a heavy object in each corner so that these liners are on placed for a long period of time. Now the another product that I want to go over is going to be the Mac Lenju. Now when you look at these items, when you look at these item clothes, as you can see, they have made it to be very soft about, and also they add a little bit more of this texture, pattern texture to make it more natural. And I think that was a good change. And on the back, it's basically nothing, it's plain. And I have seen that they uh, could be used both sides. Uh, now, when you put these together, as you guys also know, this is also packed, rolled, so you need something to straight these things out in place. So I would say like putting something like this heavy object so this is also pretty easily sleepable if you don't put heavy objects in the corners. Moving on to the next product. This is our reptile liner. And basically what we did with this one is we pretty much try to uh, fix most of the common things that I experience as a person who used these type of carpet before in the past. So the first thing is definitely the, the teeth and claws protections. So even if they hunt from this liner, they will be super, super safe because it's super soft and there's no way for it to get stuck. And the another part which I just went over, I made the bottom part right here you see this black color. Um, I made this with a natural rubber, so it, it does hold the liner pretty well. So even if they move, it doesn't really move a lot because of the frictions that it's causing from the rubber. So it's gonna be definitely holding its positions for a very long time, even if they run around. And the other key thing that I also did is when I created this liner, I specifically uh, measured 
the tank with the ruler and we have found out that like there are like one or two centimeters shorter than what it's labeled on the box for other products so we definitely um, measured each of the tank carefully to make sure these uh, liners fits perfectly so that uh, reptile food like reptile feeders like mealworms or crickets or dubious doesn't go underneath of the liners because if that happens then there's no point of uh, putting this liner or carpets inside the tank. We created this handle. It's like a clothes tag, but I put it a instruction where here, like if you read it, lift and pull, you can simply remove this with this one single handle. So you don't have to put like your nails in corners to try to pull this out. The reason why I chose the rubber is because when some reptiles have the heat tape underneath the carpets, we always want to prevent any severe issues just in case, which is rare, but in case if there's any fires, this rubber will eventually help preventing uh, transferring the heat uh, for excessive period of time. And we also created, for that reason, we also created like a gecko place where they can evacuate on the rooftop section right here to chill when it's too hot on the ground. So to start the test, I brought this paper with me just to show you if it if the water goes through the liner and also a small cup of water, which is not a not big amount. And this is way more than average reptile will poop from the facet. So I just added a little bit extra just to give you some example. So here's the first one that we're gonna put. So here we go. So as you can see, it does observe the water pretty well. The water did go through. And as a long term, if you look at this, these are going to be a bad bacteria that's gonna spread inside the tank if you don't clean frequently. So you definitely wanna clean very often when you're using these carpets. So that's test number one. It doesn't show much on the camera how much it observed, but I think it basically passed through all the liquid through the carpets. So for this time, it seems like the carpet is observing the water a little bit slower than the one that we just reviewed. But as you can see, the water did observe. When we leave this thing on the back of the carpets, we see the water is observing way more than the, the previous one. And uh, the top layer, you can see a little bit of watermark. And when you look at the paper in, underneath, it did actually hold a fair amount of water but still it went through and for that reason it basically failed the test so as you can see it's observing the water and it's basically spreading out if we lift up the liner we can definitely see there is no water above the paper now you can pull this out and the water won't even spill because it traps all the water inside the middle layer so there's a total three layers in the carpet and basically the middle layer is going to be holding all the liquid so when we do this and look at the paper it's basically brand new paper that has no water at all now the one last thing that you may ask is if it traps the all the liquids inside the middle layer how it's gonna get uh, cleaned because those bacteria will eventually spread out right so what we what you could do is you can simply put it put this in the laundry machine or you can hand wash it with the dryer or uh, natural dry and you're all good to go um, it's so durable that it will hold onto the machine wash uh, meanwhile other things will definitely go into wrinkles and it's gonna have all these mark after wash but this is very strong enough that it's gonna hold uh, 
it's shaped pretty well even if you uh, machine wash them. But that's it for today's video and I did cover uh, why we created this uh, liners on our previous video so if you want to check out our story how we built this uh, definitely feel free to visit our channel and check our stories there in our YouTube channel.